Hi there, got a real treat today of a review. This is the Einel Novo 7 Aurora. This is the brand new tablet uh, from uh, Einel. Uh, it is a kind of next generation from the Einel Novo 7 Advanced um, and it has a good step up. <clears throat> As you can see, the box has a nice design. Uh, it's running Android 4.0. DDR has one gig of uh, RAM. Wi-Fi uh, N. 5 point multi touch. It lists the 4 times full HD just like the uh, Novo 7 Advanced did with the 2160p. Um, and it is a 7 inch 16 by 9 IPS screen. What that means to you, this screen is much more vivid and bright. Um, it's a higher quality, higher resolution. Uh, should be 1024 by uh, 600, I believe. And uh, the viewing angle also, it's a wide viewing angle, and it really does make a difference uh, compared to other tablets. And on the back here, you can see, you know, again, 4 times HD, 1 gig. It has uh, just a front camera, it's a 2 megapixel, really good quality. Again, running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, which is really nice. Then it has the A10 processor listed at 1.2 gigahertz. I believe it can be overclocked up to 1.5 or will be with firmwares. And yes, it is 1024 by 600 resolution. So let's go ahead and uh, open the box up here. And it also has HDMI version 1.4 uh, and 3D. Now this device is by far my favorite device to hold. They, in the, when it comes to design, they did all the right things. And I'm actually going to save that for a minute. So inside the box you got the flap, and then you have another little box in here which holds the accessories. And in there you get a little just warranty card in Chinese. There are some headphones. Uh, it comes with uh, the normal, uh, or the mini USB. You have an adapter, this would be if you want to do a thumb drive. Um, and it comes with a mini HDMI cable, which is a great addition, so that way you can upload to TV. Another little couple tabs. It does have a manual. Uh, the manual is again in Chinese, just like the Novo 7 was. Not a lot of nice pictures, and we don't use manuals anyways. And you get uh, a power supply. The power supply is rated at uh, 5 volt to amp. What that 5 volt means, this device can be charged by the USB cable, which a lot of people like to go. It's called USB on the go. Now to the device itself, what you've been waiting for. Let's slide that out. And as you can see, it looks like a normal, you know, just black little tablet. But the great part is it's rounded. The whole thing is rounded and in kind of a metallic-y finish. Um, a nice gray, a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but not bad. But when you just hold this device, it's really smooth. Uh, it's not too heavy. It just is the, the best device I've had to actually just hold on to. On the front here, again, we have the 7-inch 16x9 IPS screen, 5-point multi-touch, 1024 by 600 You have a 2-megapixel camera, the A10 uh, processor inside, 1-gig um, of DDR3 RAM. And on the top, you'll find the power button, volume rockers, and uh, this is a back button. Over here, you'll find the uh, headphone external micro SD this is the microphone the mini HDMI this is the USB and right here is the power jack nothing along the bottom here or this side and on the back you'll notice this only has one camera just a front camera um, and right here is your speaker and it lists out a uh, serial number on the back and it also lists out the ports so let's go ahead and get this booted up and the boot up time on it is actually pretty quick Zoom in here. There we go. And again, as I said, I really, so far, I've enjoyed using the device. Um, we'll do some more tests on the software and everything that way here in a minute. Um, now, one downfall that the device has currently, uh, it doesn't come with the Android Market installed. But we can fix that. Um, I've already tested the root script that I have uh, that I created, and it works with the Novo 7 Advance. It also works with the Aurora, so that means easily, act, easily able to root, and we can get the market installed and update the build.prop so we can get a full uh, a market key. And there's also a Lord's BM script, which you can download, which uh, I believe will work on this device also. So as you can see, with uh, Ice Cream Sandwich, the setup's a little different than Gingerbread, Froyo, or those, um, but the lock can be slid any direction. And down here you have a back button, and this is home and this once there's multiple programs open brings up a little list and over here where you have your time uh, you get a little more settings this is also where your notifications come in 
So whereas before notifications came in and took up the whole screen, now it's just in the lower right hand corner, similar to uh, how WebOS used to be. Um, and as you can see, if you click on the time, <coughs> you get a lot more options. You can do airplane mode, Wi-Fi, or you can go into the settings itself. Um, and in here, you can see the various Wi-Fi you know, data usage. If it had a 3G modem, sound options, display, you can set the brightness, uh, and your sleep timer. I like 10 minutes myself. Uh, you can also work out the accelerometer. Um, and storage, as you can see, has one gig for apps available. And then 5.52 internal storage, and if you put in an external SD card. Uh, battery, that's where you can manage the programs. Uh, you can set up the location, find by location. Security, language and input. If it, the tablet arrived in Chinese originally, so all you need to do is just go to the settings, <coughs> open up the settings, go to the icon with a little A on it, click on the first button here, which is the language, and then just scroll down and select the language you want to use. And that'll put everything in English so you can actually use it for those that are English speaking. Um, you can also do factory reset, set your date and time, all the standard options, but the nice thing with Ice Cream Sandwich is it puts them on the uh, right hand side as you look through. And in developer options, you get a lot more things here, USB debugging, stay awake, um, you can do uh, a pointer location, show where the touches are, show CPU usage, um, there's just a lot of different options there. Now on the about tablet, we've got uh, Novo 7 Aurora 4.0.1, uh, 3.0.8 kernel, and it looks like this firmware is dated for January 9, 2012. So that's the settings. Um, in terms of apps, it comes with uh, actually a fair number of apps. Uh, some of them are Chinese, but you've got Angry Birds, uh, Fruit Ninja. Uh, it comes with the Chinese version of the Dolphin browser, um, and you can turn off different settings here. Uh, now, to get to the actual apps on the device, you click the little button up there on top, and this is where you'll see apps like you normally would, and you can select. This is also where you get access to the widgets for the various desktops. So in the apps, um, you can see again Angry Birds Rio calendar camera. Um, the camera is really nice. Uh, it's really, you know, the 2 megapixel is nice quality, as you can see me sitting there. And I'll get out of here. And you got Fruit Ninja. Now again, as I said, there's no market right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn the video off. I'm going to run my script, get root, get market, uh, install some programs, and we'll do some further uh, testing of the performance. So stay with me. Thanks. All right, I'm back, and uh, basically all I did, I took the tablet over my computer. I already have drivers installed, connected up the USB, downloaded the Lord's BM ICS script uh, from the Inel Novo 7 Advanced. Uh, forums on Slate Droid, which you'll find a lot of information on Slate Droid. There is a section for the Aurora itself. Uh, ran that, and that rooted the device. It also installed Market and some other tweaks. So now we have the uh, the Market app, and it's a full Market. You can get Skype. You can get uh, pretty much everything you want. We can do a search here, and Skype. And that's using the voice search feature, which is really kind of handy. It's kind of a little bit like Siri on Apple, not quite exact, but uh, close. As you can see, Skype was there. I've installed it, um, and you can find all the other programs uh, if you want Netflix. You can look for Netflix. Netflix. And as you can see, Netflix is available to download from the market. So those are just two of the apps that are commonly missing, uh, unless you have full market. Uh, in terms of programs here, let's go ahead and do some video tests. I've got so much to show and so little time to do it. So uh, again, as I did with the Novo 7 Advance, I'm not even going to bother with anything but the 1080p files. Um, and as you can see, just like the Novo 7 Advance, we play smooth, we can turn the brightness up here along the side. And I'm using Mobile Player. Um, it's a free software, works well. As you can see, it also reset my brightness. So I can go into the settings and tell it to remember the brightness that I set. But uh, all of these files are playing fine an MPEG, an MP4, a WMV. Um, they're just smooth as can be. So video performance, right on par with the uh, Novo 7 Advanced, if not a little bit better, um, if that was ever a concern. Uh, in terms of the screen and apps, uh, I've got, let's go ahead and play a game here. Actually, we'll play Heavy Gunner. Um, download this, it's a free game, uh, fairly graphic intense. Um, as you can see, it loads uh, pretty quickly here on the, the Aurora. Tap the screen, campaign. And tap continue, start. And it's pretty good with the accelerometer, um, but as you can see, no performance lag at all. Uh, and the speakers on this are actually pretty freaking loud. I don't even have it at max volume. Now I have it at the volume. Um, so as you can see, no problem at all playing the game. Um, and that's a very graphic intense game. As you can see, the volume also is very loud. Exit out of there, turn the volume down some here. Um, 
For the uh, screen responsiveness, uh, it is a very responsive screen um, and five point touch. This is called Toddler Lock. It's a great little program if you want to lock out kids from you know, doing things and give them something to play with. Um, so as you can see, five finger multi-touch uh, and very responsive there. Uh, it's a great screen. This is really a, uh, a great device. Uh, I'm sorry about the uh, little bit of focus there. Uh, we've also got um, Adobe Reader, and I've got a graphic novel here, also known as a comic. Um, and as you can see, it's clear. Now, one thing with Adobe Reader I've noticed recently, and I don't know if it's just Adobe Reader itself, but if you change the rotation, it goes out of the program. Um, but uh, graphics are crisp and clear, so I can't complain there. Open up a little Angry Birds. And as you can see, the uh, display angle on this tablet is really, really good. I mean, I can tilt it. I mean, you can still see it just fine there. And I can't stress enough how nice it is to hold. Uh, it feels really thin. It is thin. Um, and this round beveled edge just, it's great. And performance is good. And voila, we have set free our birds. Now some other things that I want to show you about uh, Ice Cream Sandwich that I actually just learned is you can actually stack icons and make them into folders. So I can take all these different games here and move them into folders. And then when I want to access them I can just tap on that and I can pick which game I want. So you can get a lot more icons uh, onto the front here. And there's also another cool feature. Um, if you go in here and let's, you know, these Chinese apps, which we don't need if you don't read Chinese. If you drag that and you bring it up to App Info, one, it brings up the information so you can stop the program, but you can also uh, uninstall these apps. So let's go with one that we can install here. Um, this Baidu input App Info and for stop and then you can disable it and these are called system apps so you couldn't just remove the program but by disabling it it removes it from the list here now if there's a software that you want to just uninstall rather than having to go into the settings and do all that to uninstall the program you can actually just click oh. and did not mean to actually open that one so you can click, hold, and again, app info, and you can disable uh, this ES file explorer there. You can also uninstall programs. All right. Like this Astro. There you go. And you get the uninstall option and you can just uh, uninstall the app directly right there. Uh, almost out of time here, but I uh, just want to show you uh, the voice search. Where is Boston? One, it'll pull up the browser automatically and uh, put in what she said. But it also ties into the map. Where is Boston, Massachusetts? And it'll pull up the map program for you. Um, so there's some different different search features there that can come in handy. Um, again, overall, this is a great little device. I highly suggest it. Um, it's one of the best ones that I've seen uh, here to date. Um, and it's priced at like 175, so it's kind of hard to beat. Um, so I just say I like it. That's all I can say. Um, an ice cream sandwich really is coming a long way for Android, um, provides a lot more uh, needed features. Uh, one other quick thing, if you want to close programs, you can hit the little button there, and you can just swipe to close. And that will close out all these. And remember, all of this was open and running in the background while we were testing our other programs, and this device did just fine. Thanks for watching. Bye.